Today we're going to be proving this identity from Michael Spivak's calculus. x cubed minus y cubed is equal to x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. <clears throat> now this is a continuation of problem number one in Michael Spivak's calculus. So we've done the previous three and this is sort of like uh, problem number two. So the proof. Now Michael Spivak's calculus um, chapter one deals with uh, properties of real numbers. So then we need to set these up as real numbers. So let X and Y be real numbers. And then what we see is this identity X cubed minus a Y cubed is equal to um, X minus Y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. Now to prove identities, we always take the side with the um, most amount of information and manipulate it algebraically to see if we can get it to this uh, other side. So uh, then we say this right here, x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared is equal to using the property of distribution so x times x squared plus xy plus y squared minus y times the same thing now i'm running out of space I'll put this right here so then we see we have this times this, so we'll use distribution again. So we have x times x squared plus x times xy. So we're just using distribution. And then plus x times y squared. Now this is this side of the expression. Now we'll do this side. So we have minus y times x squared minus y times xy and then minus y times y squared. Now x times x squared is going to be x cubed. x times xy will be plus x squared y and then we have um, plus x times y squared is just xy squared. And then for this side we have minus, we'll use the commutative property to change um, the orientation of these uh, variables. So we have x squared y squared or y uh, minus, we use the commutative property to multiply these this expression. We have x y squared. And then and finally we have y times y squared is minus y cubed. So now what we need to see is, are there any like terms? So we have x squared y and minus x squared y. So what we see is we have x cubed plus the combination of these two, x squared y minus x squared y. And then we see we have x um, y squared and minus x y squared. So we'll group these two together this is also using the um the commutative property uh, we have x y squared minus x y squared and then finally we're left with minus y cubed so we see that we have a number and it's additive inverse so this is going to be zero and then we have the same thing here, a number in its additive inverse, zero, and then minus y cubed. So then we also know that um, any number added with uh, the additive identity is going to be the same thing. So we have x cubed and then minus y cubed. So as we see, we went from x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared to 
x cubed minus y cubed. And that's the, the, that is the proof.